There are several dams that are built, as we all know in California, most of our streams are dammed. Several obstacles that are physical and thermal obstacles for passage, fish need certain conditions, water quality, water temperature, in order to make it out to the ocean. So by trucking them, we bypass some of the many hazards and also some of the impassable areas. They may appear to look a little bit rough around the edges at first, but they generally start swimming down and school and look like a, a regular salmon smoke. Normally, they would be able to swim out their natal stream and make it to the bay. Um, the other option for this, when fish are trucked, they would be put directly in the bay and have no opportunity for acclimation. This project is specifically designed to handle these hatchery fish that are trucked out to the bay. Without acclimation, they're easy prey for predators. They have a thermal and an osmotic shock when they hit the water, and our nets provide a safe place for them to acclimate to the environment, start behaving in schooling like young fish do, and then they have a lot better chance of making it out to the bay and returning to their streams. The test will be in a few years when uh, we see how many salmon come back. Regardless of the other obstacles, it's my opinion that this is a critical part of the entire process. Like I said, they're three to five hundred times more likely to survive this trip with the acclimation, more than they would be without any acclimation.